get to the end of life's road. You tie your knot, and you hold on. Franklin Roosevelt. When it comes to my problem, I treat them like a deck of cards and accept the way God deals them. Sometimes I drink myself into a paralyzed state so I won't have to feel them. I've learned that time is like that cup of sugar my neighbor never returned, borrowed. Sometimes I sit in the dark with a flashlight and mirror just to watch my shadow and reflection argue about the good, the bad, and the ugly. I wonder if the kids I agreed to abort think of me. I never gave them a chance to make me smile. I pleaded the fifth when I should have took a stand at their murder trial, a problem that I have dealt with. That's why I erase the space between my knees and ground and pray. If I don't, my present can mimic my yesterday, causing depression to repeat, making razor blades and pill bottles look like victory instead of defeat, and I've been to that place so much. Fake smiles hide depression that sits in my face, but it fits so perfect along with shame because of things I've done like giving my daughters more attention than my son because his mother allowed the course to treat me bad. I guess that makes me part dead, be part great dad because my daughters gets my love while my son gets my cash, a problem that I have dealt with. As life around me worsens, I tell myself I am a great person, the same one who pulled the gun on a man outside an open mic spot and told him if he don't stop beating this girl, he will be pistol whipped or shot. But I am the same man that allowed the liquor to turn my ex-wife into a sparring partner and box with her. A problem that makes life hard because they say equal opportunity, but ain't nobody hiring you with an assault charge. I've tried, at night I've cried, asking God to treat me like a wounded soldier in combat and let me die. In this war, I am of no use. Allowing depression to become my news and hang me from the tree of life and watch me shake. The dead be wants me to give in, but the man, the father, wants the branch to break and use prayer as restoration and restore my faith. And I did. I told life and death to wait a minute. It's a hard fought battle, but I'm still in it. I still have a chance. It wasn't by the pale moonlight, but me and the devil danced a couple of times. And when it came to my ground, I held mine. Life's pain, I felt it. But I stand in front of you on this stage today a much better man because of the problems that me and God has conquered and dealt with. Thank you.